are on the way for the Vermilion Parish Animal Control Center after a very heated meeting tonight. Several animal rescue organizations and dozens of supporters packed into the police jury meeting demanding changes be made to the euthanasia policy. It comes after three dogs were put down even though volunteers were on their way to save them. It sparked a firestorm on Facebook and according to one online petition, Vermilion Parish Animal Control euthanized more than 1,400 animals last year, and at least 1,300 were never given the chance to be rescued. The issue was addressed at tonight's police jury meeting, and as our Aaron Stuber reports, emotions were running high. These dogs are going to be saved. There was no it was standing room only at the Vermilion Parish Police Jury Wednesday night. There's a list of things we'd like to change. And it was heated. I think we all need to come down a bit and give one another respect and share. At issue, the euthanasia policy at the Animal Control Center, which as of Wednesday morning is not allowing animals to be rescued. And they're saying it's because of a state mandate. And we verify that any animal put from our shelter is spayed or The jury voted while that issue is sorted out, no animals will be killed. I feel like tonight's meeting was productive. I'm not going to call it a win. <laughs> After more contention, the police jury voted to form a subcommittee made up of volunteers and jurors that will work to improve the Animal Control Center. The subcommittee is going to do all the investigation, give us some policy and procedure recommendations, and it's going to come to the full ju jury for ratification. The jury also voting to make it a requirement that each animal set to be put down is advertised on social media. I am looking forward to a cooperative relationship with the police jury and with the Vermilion Parish Shelter, a non-antagonistic relationship where we could all work together to save the homeless companion animals of Vermilion Parish. In Vermilion Parish, Aaron Stuber, KTC TV3. And that subcommittee will meet for the first time behind closed doors on Monday.